Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I'm here with our last personal break of the night to have one 2021 NHL Star Rookie box sets to check out for Scott Punk. So this product here does have one 25 card set of rookies from of course the 2021 year of Upper Deck Hockey products and you do have the possibility to get a rookie autograph inside. It does seem like you're getting about one autograph per case, and they are 20 box cases, so not the greatest odds. But of course, even if you don't get that auto, you get that really cool set of, of course, 25 rookies. But I'm excited to go ahead and check this out for Ska Punk. Now, based on your guys' comments, it does seem like if we do find an autograph, it will be the final card in the pack. So maybe we'll get spoiled on who it is. Maybe it'll be a surprise because Laugh is the card at the back of the pack, if I remember. So if it's a Laugh auto, we might not know until we get to it or maybe we'll just have a regular set so let's go ahead and jump right on into it by snapping us into the corner let's take a look at the box one more time before we get started select boxes contain a bonus a bonus autograph that is the 26th card if you do find one an ensemble of tw 25 carts recruit par boîte I don't know why I just decided not to say 25 in French but we're moving on look for a rare autograph and then there is the back. Lots of text down here. And I just noticed, even though we've opened up several of these on the channel, that it does have everything in French and English, which I don't think most hockey boxes do, so that is interesting to see. But anyways, let's just crack on into this box here. I can only drag out a box opening so long. So let's just see what we find here for Ska Punk. And then the pack is secure there in the middle, so if you find a box, you're out and about, perhaps at Target or Walmart, and you see a box, but it looks like it has bad corners. And you're like, I don't know if I want to get it. What if the cards are damaged? Uh, unless there's any kind of damage right here in the middle, like it got stabbed or something, your card should be fine. I don't see a problem with picking one up. Like, let's say it's the last one. You're like, ooh, I don't know. I want one, but what if it's damaged? Should be fine, unless you're just trying to keep it sealed. But here is our pack. See, laugh on the back and Kaprizov on the top. So maybe this is a laugh auto, maybe it's a regular laugh. Let's just jump on in. Now there is the little pull tab here. If I can feel it out, there we go. And you just pull it all the way around. I do still have my handy dandy scissors nearby if it doesn't want to open and it doesn't. Actually, I don't have them nearby, but not too far. After those those Cardfight Vanguard videos, I should have consciously decided to keep them close by. I thought I did, but apparently not. But all right, here we go. Let's check out this set here for Ska. All right. We, of course, have Kaprizov, Sorokin, Stutzla, Romanov, Byram, Foot, Mitchell, Hoglander, Soderstrom, Krebs, Miller, Cousins, Smith, Harley, Kaliev, who did I, you guys did give me the confirmation in another video that he will be in the extended series hockey, so that's good to know. I was, go, I felt like I was going crazy that I didn't recognize Arthur Kaliev. Uh, I don't follow the Kings too, too much, so I hadn't heard the name. I was like, I don't feel like I've seen this guy's young gun before. It does seem like Kaliev will have his young gun in the upcoming extended series hockey, which should be coming either in June or July. And we also have Kurashev, Norris, Velardi, Delandria, Lilsgren, Foodie, Robertson, Jalevi, McMichael, and a regular laugh here in the back. So no autograph in this box. But like I said, even if you don't get the auto, you still get this super cool set of Upper Decks pick, I'm assuming, of the top 25 rookies from this past year. As Bounty Hunter pointed out, it's a little odd that you don't have the other Robertson. You have Nick Robertson, but you don't have Jason Robertson from the Stars. But of course, I believe there are 50 Young Guns in each series. I don't know how much extended series we'll have. Uh, to cut down from 100 to 25, definitely have to be very picky and choosy here on Upper Deck's behalf. So I'm curious. I wonder, I know sometimes Upper Deck people do like little talks on why they choose certain things on set design, set construction. So I'm curious if maybe there's a video explaining why they chose who they did. Uh, but... I like the design here. I like that some cards have new images. I know I had mentioned that the Dylan Cousins is familiar from the Young Gun. And I believe some others have their pictures from the Young Guns as well. Just perhaps Young Guns I haven't seen as often. But opening up all that Series 2 hockey recently here on the channel, that Cousins did stand out to me. But overall, I really like these little box sets. They're pretty cool. Would recommend if you're a hockey fan, if you find one somewhere, pick it on up. Like I said, don't really have to worry about any box damage affecting the cards because the box does have that floating pack in the middle, which to me is a bit odd, a bit wasteful, but hey, 
Like I said, if your box gets squished a bit, as long as it's not on the top, your cards are good to go. But that does it here for this opening for Scott Punk. So thank you so much, Scott, for letting me open this on up for you. Before, actually, I brought all my supplies, Scott Punk also requested I draw him a looper. So let me grab one of our little fancy cards here. I started going, I started defaulting into the outro, and I'm like, wait a minute, I even have all of my markers off to the side. I, instead of having them on the floor behind me, I picked them up, but I even put them on the table. My brain is fried after a long day at work here. But thank you so much, Ska, for letting me open this on up for you. Really hope you enjoy the opening, and of course, love these new additions to your hockey collection. Now, let's go. What color should I use? I'll use this one here. Le whoop. This is a very crispy whoop. And I remember I was thinking about on the way in, I was like, I can't forget that Scott Punk wants a whooper. And I'm not too familiar with different subcultures, but you know what? I'm pretty sure having a red mohawk would be considered punk. So we're giving the whooper a mohawk. <laughs> now it just looks like a whooper dinosaur. Yeah, look at that. Punk whoop. Nice. <laughs> and I'll let that dry. And of course, there is a spot for me to sign in on the back. These little custom sketch cards. You now are the owner of an original one-of-a-kind sketch card. I'll let that dry. But anyways, thank you so much again, Scott, for letting me open up this box for you. Really hope you enjoyed it and love these new additions to your collection, Punk Whoop included. But all of you out there watching, of course, I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you did, don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, leave those down below. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, before I get on out of here for the night, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. Boss Man and I truly do appreciate it. Do have seven Black Label fans, and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, uh, Kira Soltari, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Y. We also do have 12 Gem Mint fans, Alberto M., Anthony Basileos, Chicago Infinity, Chris Rivers, D. Vaughn, Dusty Archuleta, Geriatric Geek, Jake Rhino C., Joe Howe, Michael C., Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. But thank you so much to all of our channel members, Scott Punk included being a certified fan here. And, of course, all channel members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But that does it for me here tonight. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed all these videos, and I hope to catch you in the next one. So take care, stay safe, and I hope to catch you again here either tomorrow night live or back again on Monday. See ya!